hey, yo, what's up? It's Unrested. And uh, as you can see, I've kind of been working on my back room here, my YouTube room right here, uh, trying to spruce it up a little bit, trying to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, I'm going back to making sure it's covered by more of my um, personal TTRPG I've been working on for a long time. People seem to be more excited about that than anything else that I put in the background. So I've kind of customized it again to start working completely around that. And I've got some new pictures that I'm going to be putting up soon in the background as well. Enough of that. Let's get into today's topic entered in by two different viewers who join my live streams. Uh, if you want to join one as well, it's every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And uh, this time it'll actually probably be on Monday too because it's Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you for all your service, my fellow Americans. Dating and Marriage in Japan, offered up by Pep Guard, um, a very loyal viewer of my streams, and Ricardo. Thank you, guys. Um, great questions that in the middle of us just bullshitting online <laughs> and talking trash in the middle of um, our live stream, Pep Guard jumps in there and just hits me with actual great questions that no one's asked before and um, kind of get my... Uh, my noodle going right okay so let's <laughs> let's jump into some of the questions he hit me with real quick um, yesterday um, number one he said expenses while dating what kind of expenses should I expect to um, incur while dating in Japan um, great question never thought about that before in my life um, I've been out of the dating game for quite some time so um, I'll be a little bit off on this, although I do still realize what prices and everything like that are as far as food and everything is concerned within Japan, um, because that's that's mostly what you do on a date, right? You go and eat, maybe you go to a movie, maybe you go to a theme park if you want to, maybe you go to, I don't know, I've been out of this game way too long, guys. <laughs> what, a, what do you young, spry children do these days on dates? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. How much has it changed? Um, I think for the most part, unless you're dating some serious luxury situation or um, somehow found a girl who's always asking you to put on the Ritz, um, you're not looking at a lot of money getting involved. Uh, first date, don't show up with like some kind of crazy expensive gift or like even flowers. I think you'll freak the other person out. Show up, you know, ready to pay for the full meal um, as a man. Um, you know, modern women, all right, hey, you want to pay for yourself? Hey, that's great. You want to go Dutch on this? That's fine. Okay. Um, not too common in Japan, all right? As a man, be ready to pay for the whole thing. Um, as far as females are concerned, do be ready for the man to cover the cost of everything involved. Do you take a taxi? He's going to pay for it. You're going to go eat? He's going to pay for it. Um, Maybe you even go somewhere and try to buy something. He might try to pay for it if he's a Japanese man. Like most Japanese men, um, especially those who are like full-time salary men, will just they'll be like, yeah, of course I'll buy it. Um, there's still a very like man buys all situation in Japan. Um, and you as a gaijin too are expected to do the same thing. You're a provider. Um, we're going old-fashioned here, guys. I'm not trying to like pull any punches on you. I'm not trying to be you know, a chauvinistic pig or take us back to the 1950s. I'm just telling you how it is. So please, please, don't kill the messenger. Don't, you know, I'm, I'm letting you know. It's it's still very old school in Japan. So you, um, you know, if you have a car, you will be picking them up. Um, you may even have to go to where they're at to pick them up. Um, you may just meet them somewhere too that's still very common you guys both take the train to meet up somewhere so that's fine too but um ex you know expect to pay um but and and again food is not expensive in japan anymore uh, back when i first started making this channel in 2008 or wherever um <laughs> the price of food in america was way lower than it was in japan japan was way more expensive it's reversed at this point um Japan's cost for food is very low. Uh, you could still you could go to McDonald's, and I'm not saying take your date to McDonald's, okay, guys. Um, maybe maybe go another step up or two, okay. Um, but you could go to McDonald's and feed a family of four for like 20 bucks in Japan. It's crazy. Um, it's still very very cheap. Whereas here in America, 
get close to 50 if you're paying for a family of four. That's insane now. Um, in Japan, you might want to take them to a place like an izakaya, which is usually a series of tapas. If you don't know what tapas is, it's a series of small dishes or plates full of food that are random different things that the izakaya offers, although there's many things that they offer across the board, such as edamame, which is just pretty much peas in a pod that you pop into your mouth. Very delish. Um, you might take them to shabu shabu, which is just like boiling a bunch of meat and eating it out of there. You might take them to yakiniku, which is cooking a bunch of meat on a grill and eating it there. Um, you may take them to okonomiyaki, which is eating, eating a, <laughs> I always love the translation of okonomiyaki, a savory pancake, which makes no sense. It's not a savory pancake. It's like cabbage and like a wheat wafer thrown onto a bunch of sauce and scalded against a hot plate. I <laughs> Please describe your version of okonomiyaki down below. Maybe take them to takoyaki if you're in Osaka, which would be um, octopus balls, not the actual balls of an octopus, but ball-shaped doughy bread with octopus pieces inside. I'm not really sure if octopuses have balls. Um, sorry for the lewdness. I just, every time I say that, people are like, wait, really? So, okay, anyway, <laughs> where are you taking your dates? They're, all these places are not going to be very expensive. You are looking at like a max bill of everything I just said, every different place, probably like 30 to 40 bucks max, okay? Dating in Japan, not very expensive. Now, now, when it might get a little bit more expensive if, if you were taking a taxi past the time that the trains stop. Taxi prices do skyrocket after that. It is a union promise that they have from the subway and train keepers, and they bank on you waiting for the trains to shut down for you to be forced to pay the high prices of taxis. Depending on how far you're going, you may be dropping 100 bucks if you're taking them back to like Kyoto from Osaka or something crazy like that. I don't advise doing that. Just go home on the train. It, it finishes at midnight. How late, how late are you going, okay? Um, first date, all right? First date. End it. <laughs> End it before midnight. And no no girl is going to be shocked that you want to get back before the train stop. No guy is going to be shocked that you want to get back before the train stop, okay? Um, staying out past midnight is a pretty crazy night for a salary man. And maybe even, I think, most young people in Japan in general staying out past midnight, you're starting to get into, like, the more wild side of Japan, which if you, if you want to do it, okay, but plan, plan for that. It's going to get more expensive, okay? If you're going to hit up a club, a lot of clubs do not have a cover charge. They don't have a drink charge. Um, as far as Osaka is concerned, there are specific special bars that have a seat charge, and that's usually these bars that have, like, two to three or four seats only in the bar and they might charge you as much as 40 bucks for that seat just don't drink at those bars they'll tell you before you walk in they're not going to hit you with a mystery bill and be like guess what you just found out hey you paid for a 40 dollar seat and only drank one drink um they have to tell you before you walk in like they'll show you like on a calculator usually and be like just so you know if you come in here and sit down, you're paying 40 bucks just to sit down. Just don't don't even waste your time with bars like that. There's much bigger bars, much better bars. Most of those bars are like, I, I don't know why anybody goes to them, quite frankly. I don't get it. There's nothing special about them aside from them being too goddamn small. Um, I think that about covers it for dating, right? Like, it can, If you guys have more examples that you want below, um, I mean, I guess you could take them to an arcade or like a metal slots, um, maybe pachinko, but <laughs> I don't know. If you're dating a girl who's into pachinko, you might be, I don't, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you know, to each their own, whatever, man, go for it. You know, you guys get addicted to gambling together. I don't care, whatever. Go see horse racing and boat racing and all that stuff. Burn through all the cash you were going to save as a married couple. Um... <laughs> Getting gifts for a significant other, that was another question asked. What's a good gift to get a Japanese person in Japan? Um, you know, just stick to something small for the first time you're ever going to get a date a gift. Don't get something on the very first date that is a little bit weird, unless you guys have, like, known each other for a really long time, and then you're like, oh, my God, we're finally going to go on our first date. Maybe then it's okay, but get it, get something small. Get something like, you know, get to know something about them and make it something it could be like as small as like a keychain all right the the worst thing you can get the only gift i would say that don't don't get it because it really says i don't care is hand towels goddamn hand towels and 
roll cake. <laughs> Throw that goddamn shit out the window. I hate that stuff. Sorry for the cursing on this. I usually don't curse, but those two things make me so angry. Hand towels. I can't tell you how many people have gifted me hand towels in Japan. And it's really a gift that says, I have no creative thought whatsoever. And also, I'm just giving you a gift because I have to. I'm obligated to. Roll cake, too. I don't, a lot of people love roll cake in Japan. Sorry, it's just a personal thing. I'm not a big fan of roll cake. Um, roll cake should be called tasteless cake, in my opinion. It just doesn't really, I don't know. My taste buds don't get it. All right? Sorry. Sorry for the language. I apologize. I'll try to keep it more family-friendly in the future. Um, Getting gifts, okay. Expenses while dating. Oh, okay. Ricardo had a really good one. Ricardo asked if when I very first met my wife's family, did I th did they think I was Yakuza because of the tattoos and everything like that? Um, there are still people in Japan who do think anybody tattooed is Yakuza. Um, a five foot eleven white guy Yakuza does not exist in Japan. There's no such thing. Um, not every Japanese person realizes that, um, but for the most part. Um, most Japanese realize there's not white guys in the Yakuza, but yes, there is still people who think either you're Yakuza affiliated, maybe you're from another gang, or maybe you're just gang affiliated just because you have tattoos. Now, I was lucky because my wife's family was well-educated, number one. I think the only people who really still think such a thing in the year 2024 are low education people um, in Japan. Like they didn't, maybe they didn't finish like high school right like that's the only people would still be like tattoo mean gangster gangster tattoo same thing um most people have watched enough american movies have if they've ever even once traveled overseas they're like oh hey wait a second none of these tattooed people are gangsters i've got it all wrong um my wife's family even though they were quite old i mean my my mother-in-law alone is like a survivor of world war ii to give you an idea of her age she had been well-traveled, and also, like I said, they were well-learned. Um, they came from um, the upper echelon. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I think that's a, the nicest way my wife will let me say it and still keep this video on YouTube. And um, they, they were intelligent enough to know that tattoo does not equal gangster. Anyone who knew me in America, if I... If I even uttered the the word gangster and me in the same sentence would like, you know, fall over laughing. Um, I grew up in the hard streets of Jacksonville, Florida. <laughs> um, they definitely know I'm not a gangster. I mean, plus it's just the way you carry yourself too. I mean, are you polite? Do you use polite Japanese? Um, you know, do you follow manners at the table when you eat with them for the first time? I made sure I came dressed pretty nice. Um... I let them choose the place. That's like a, I don't know, that was kind of a big deal. They're like, we want to go eat at this really expensive Chinese place, but you might not like Chinese food. Is that okay? And I was like, y you can choose anywhere you want. I'll eat whatever. You know, I'm like open-minded to whatever. And so they're like, really? You don't care? I'm like, no, not at all. And they're just like, okay, good. That was like, for them, that was like a first big qualifier that they're, that I'm just like open to eat whatever kind of food. Um, so, you know, maybe they did have some sort of reservations where they're like, I've heard that Gaijin only eat cheeseburgers. Um, no, so like, you know, just be open-minded. Like, and, and don't take offense to questions, okay? Don't, they might ask stuff that they've never seen before, okay? Don't, don't be like, oh, I can't believe you would ask that. Oh, my God. Like, don't, don't get all hoity-toity, okay? Like, there's a lot of indigenous Japanese who've never traveled outside of Japan, if you want to make more friends in Japan, if you want to meet more people, answer the questions, even if it seems like what I call, quote-unquote, innocent racism, okay? You know, the questions I get were like, is my nose, my nose from plastic surgery? Are my eyes, my real eyes, or am I wearing colored contacts? Um, and the, the goofiest one I never understand is, is my hair color my real hair color, or have I dyed it? It's like, what, dyed it one shade lighter than you guys? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Um, you know, some of the odder things to them, like, uh, you know, having my ears gauged was very strange to a lot of Japanese people. They don't, still not a very common thing there in Japan. So, um, I think they might've asked me something about that. They're like, why did you, why did you do this to your ears? And I'm just like, um, during the time it was trendy. I don't know. Why did I do it? Why did I do it? Um, 
but but her parents were like super nice uh, actually really it's only her mom her father was already deceased when i first met my wife so um anyway um no she, they did not think i was yakuza i have heard stories though of people having to explain like no they have no gang affiliation but just just come across as nice like just you know like you'd meet any girl's parents right you know vice versa if you're a woman you know, I, I will say maybe you might deal with some like kind of sexist questions if you're a female dating a Japanese guy especially if you're a female dating a Japanese guy who has a dad who's a very old school um, <laughs> the dad might be like hey how do you feel about being a housewife I've heard in your country women aren't ha maybe be ready for that all right like, I'm just trying to be as straight up and honest as I always am with you guys. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to pull any punches. I'm not going to tell you, no, Japanese always super polite. I mean, they are for the most part. But like I say, sometimes they have this sort of innocent racism that they, they pull off, you know. Ask my black friends how many times they've asked to have their hair touched. Can I touch your hair? C can we not ask this question right now, guys? Like, can we not? <laughs> well, that's what I mean by innocent racism. Um Meeting my wife's family, was it scary? I'd say it was intimidating. Because um, I, I will say, like I said, they came from a higher echelon. So, like, the most intimidating, I'd say, was meeting um, her brother. Her brother was not happy to hear his little sister was getting married. Um, I had to put on a good show for that. Like, I had to really, really mind myself for that. Um, so, that was more of the scariest part. I, I will say, I came even better dressed for that um i was very aware of things like no elbows on the table i tried to follow all japanese polite rules like you don't move plates with chopsticks you know just study up a little bit on japanese etiquette and try to follow it while you're there meeting the family i common sense stuff i know common sense isn't common anymore but i'm here telling you now research okay do it make a good impression first impressions are best impressions make that impression a good impression okay it's the same with a job interview it's the same with an interview with a family that you're meeting for the first time of a significant other you want to have a future with okay be be respectable okay and respect them and you'll receive respect back a japanese for the most part are incredibly polite um and you know once in a while they do ask a silly little question like can you use chopsticks <laughs> even though you're sitting there eating with chopsticks you know classic japanese gotta love them <laughs> um oh and finally to end this one i guess we're going through the whole progression because it's kind of like led through a progression of like how was dating what about marriage you had kids what about this kids question was I ever afraid my kids would be bullied for being Hafu? I was. I was actually afraid of that. I'd, had, I'd heard horror stories in the past. Um, I was a little bit nervous to send my kid off to elementary school, kindergarten, etc. Has my kid ever experienced any bullying in Japan? No. None. Zero. Um, if anything, being Hafu made him way more popular than a lot of other kids in his area. Now, there's some exceptions to this. Number one, my kid grew up in an area of Osaka that was very international, okay? It was a school that had more than one Hafu kid at it, right? Um, the only time I've ever heard anybody be a racist towards my kids, sadly enough, is when I asked questions for advice on a Hafu board on Reddit. It was the rudest, most disgusting group of people I ever met, which I was really shocked by. Um, I, I almost don't have words to explain it. Pretty much I went on there and I was asking about like, how did you, you know, handle dealing with two languages and teaching them both? Like, how did you make sure if you went overseas, you made sure they still studied their kanji and stuff like that? And it wasn't just like Japanese Hafu there, it was a mix of Asian Hafu. And um, they accused me of being like a sex tourist and stuff like that. And were just like the rudest bunch of Redditors I've ever met in my life. Um, that day forward, I detest Reddit and I detest asking any questions on Reddit. Um, that board was eventually shut down, though. So I was just a disgusting group of people. And they were all Hafu, which is just so weird to me. Like, y you realize my son is Hafu. So, like, obviously, I'm okay with Asian people. Like, what? <laughs> 
Um, my kid never experienced any any racism at all. Um, I mean, there's, uh, I will say that there was, okay, there has been like, have you guys ever heard the term of gaijin hunter? Um, gaijin hunter is a type of girl who will only date gaijin. Um, they will only date foreigners. And um, if you are wondering, my wife is not a gaijin hunter. She has said from day one that she tried to date Japanese guys. And because of what she did for a job, um, a lot of Japanese men were turned off by the fact that she made more money than a lot of them. Um, so she was like, you know, middle finger in the air to all of you. I'm trying to make this as polite as I can. I will date men who respect me. And as Gaijin, we don't really care if our wives make more money than us, right? Now I'm actually, I'm close to almost equal at this point in my life. But um, yeah, of course I married my wife knowing she made more than me. She's a dentist, okay? Like, what am I supposed to do with that? I'm not about to get my medical license here, guys. <laughs> if anything, it just made me have more respect for her. Um, but a lot of Japanese men were really intimidated by that. And she tried to go on these things called kampa and stuff like that. It's actually kind of like speed dating in Japan. And she said, like, the problem she would run into all the time is as soon, like, you, you fill out these, like, forms. And, like, the other person reads it real quick. And they're like, okay, what do you do? What do you, what's your favorite things? Like, what's your hobbies? And stuff like that. And then you move tables and go to another one. And she said she'd never end up with dates at the end of the night because they were intimidated by the fact that she made more than them. I don't know. I don't know what that says about Japanese men. You answer that question, Japanese men. I'm not going to. Um, as Gaijin... We don't care. It's not a big deal. I mean, there's probably some gaijin out there who are like, oh, I, must, I must be the breadwinner. <laughs> Me caveman, caveman rule whole cave. All right? Like, you know, like, whatever, dude. Go for it. You want to be the breadwinner, go for it. Um, I'm the breadwinner out here. <laughs> um, then, uh, okay, so where am I going with this? Um, so, oh, gaijin hunters. <laughs> Holy cow, what a tangent. There is there was Gaijin Hunter for my kids. Like there was like girls in their school who were like, Oh my god, you are my dream boat and like they got like tons of Valentines, tons of love notes, like tons of like admirers and stuff like that. Just like and look, I'm not again, I'm not trying to be racist about this. I'm not trying I'm gonna tell you like their eyes are slightly a different color. They're like lighter brown than most Japanese people. Their skin is very white. That is con that is considered like such a beautiful thing in Japan. Whatever, dude. Okay, um, you know their hair is much lighter than a lot of Japanese people. That's con oh my god, he heavenly, angelic, even cherubic. Um, this was really attractive to a lot of the girls at their school. My son goes to an all boys school now. It's like a um, a Salarian all boys school, all right? And he still gets female admirers because he goes to Juku, which is cram school and after school. And they still, like, you know, try to give him all kinds of gifts and everything like that, write him love notes and stuff like this. He still has admirers when he barely sees girls throughout the day. Um, so there, you know, maybe your kid might run into some gaijin hunters that I don't know what else to tell you, man. <laughs> That's my experience, okay? Um, and please, please, please remember, everything I tell you here is my experience. Your experience may differ. I'm just giving you the most honest, down-to-earth experience of what I had happen in the last 15 to 16 years of living in Japan with my kids, getting married, dating, etc. Well, not in that order. Dating married kids. <laughs> okay, let's put it that way. Um, I'm sure there's like way more questions you guys could ask about this stuff. If there's enough dropped in the comments below, maybe I make a part two to this. Not sure. How did you feel about this one? I thought it was pretty fun. Members, um, you might have noticed right now your membership is all messed up. Um, I am waiting for my W-9 tax form to be approved by YouTube so that I can officially um, have my whole account moved over to America. Apparently, I didn't fill that out before when I transferred my account from Japan to America. Um, sorry. I don't... <laughs> sorry, YouTube. I don't know. Like, I wish they would have just told me that from the beginning, but I I noticed the money was never going into my bank. I don't really care too much because the money is not a lot of money from YouTube to begin with. But finally, they hit me up with a thing like, all your memberships will be stalled out until you finally finish this form, Mr. Ackerman. Oh, sorry. Oh, my God. Sorry. Oh, my God. Let me do that. I did it. 
I, at first they told me it would be done within 48 hours and then I got a letter later that said like it might be up to two weeks um, I'm still gonna do like extra videos and stuff for you guys I don't know how I do that for members I'll try to figure something out I, at the end of the day I may just transfer all memberships over to patreon YouTube is getting so greedy at this point that it's ridiculous. They're taking over 60% of everything members pay, which I just feel like, hey, why don't you just rob everybody, YouTube? Why don't you just take everything? I mean, we make pennies on the hour of our videos. We make pennies off of you know the AdSense. Now we're making only pennies off of the money our members pay. Please continue to make it lower and lower. I don't get paid little enough. Um, whatever like I said I've never done this for a career or for the money that's for sure um, but sorry members um, you'll still be held as a member you won't lose your membership but you also won't be charged during this time either so you know that big dollar ninety I charge most of you <laughs> won't be sapping your bank account guys I hope you're having a great rest of the weekend um, I'm gonna jump online here in just a little bit for tonight's stream if you want to join, um, I'm thinking about playing Slitterhead for tonight's stream. It's a brand new Japanese horror game that just came out. Um, I forget who the creator is. I need to do more research. I'm a dumb dumb, sorry. Um, but I love all of you, and um, we've been having a blast on the on the viewer streams. And uh, also, please realize Discord too is now open to viewers. Um, if you're unable to join it for some reason. Come jump on the stream tonight, and we'll be sure to throw you a link to make sure you can get on. Okay? Until next time, guys, have a great rest of your weekend. Love you all. Talk to you again real soon.